Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I have some amazingly simple preservation ideas for you for your garden vegetables. Now I have some okra, not a ton, but enough. And then I have lots of pickles. Now I'm going to show you how to dill both of these and it is so easy. This recipe comes from my mom. She called them sun pickles because they are going to sit out in the sun for two to three days. Now, I've heard some people just put them in the fridge and let them sit in the fridge for a couple days. You can try that too. But in our household, we always put them in the sun for two or three days. Now in Florida, I may end up putting them in the sun one to two days. It matters if it's 100 degrees out or not. We shall see. So a couple things we need pickling salt. This can be found by like the mason jars and the pickling section at Walmart. Even my local grocery store has, has it, but not in the spice aisle. It's over by the mason jars. So look for that there. And you ask why? Well, in pickling salt, they don't put iodine or some other additives and this caking stuff that anti-caking, they don't put that stuff in pickling salt. What will that do to your brine? it'll turn your brine muddy and it can turn your pickles kind of an odd color. If you don't care about a clear brine or odd color, darker pickles, then go for it. Try the regular salt. I don't care. Other thing we need, and I could not even find at my grocery store, but I, I know it's there. It even said it was there online, but I went and it wasn't. So I had to order on Amazon some dill seed. What the heck am I gonna do with eight ounces of dill seed? I do not know, but um, it should last a long time. And then also I could not find, maybe everyone's pickling, I could not find alum. What alum does is it helps make your cucumbers and other pickled vegetables crisp. You can leave this out. If you don't mind a mushy cuke or mushy stuff, that's fine. But I like mine crisp. So I'm going to be putting alum in mine. So there are recipes out there that are just salt and vinegar and water. That's it. But I like a little more flavor in mine and I like them crispy and I don't want my water murky. So that's why I'm using those products. And then dill. You can't have dill pickles without dill. Beautiful fresh dill to go along with our dill seed. And that's our, and then we have vinegar, and then I talked about our pickling salt. And then we need containers. For the okra, I hope they'll fit in here. Yeah, I may have to smush some down. The okra will fit in these two little jars, and then I have a big jar for my pickles. So let's get started. We have six and a half cups of water here that I have heated, but I didn't even bring to a boil. I just want it hot enough to dissolve my um, salt in. Okay, this is our mixture. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna stir this before we add our vinegar. We're gonna get that salt all dissolved because once I add my room temperature vinegar, then uh, you know my salt won't dissolve. So let's get that all dissolved. While that is dissolving, we are going to add one teaspoon of dill seed. Hey, Kathy, what happens if I add more dill seed? Nothing, except it'll taste more dilly. So let's add just a itty bit more. That's probably half to quarter teaspoon. We'll see. Hey, Kathy, what happens if I put peppercorns in there? Well, you're gonna have a little spicy peppery flavor. Sounds delicious, go for it. What happens if I put a little anise in there or allspice? Well, you are gonna get a more, um, oh, what do you call it? A pickle that is gonna be more like a sweet pickle, that's what they use for sweet pickles, but that doesn't mean you can't use it. So alum, I'm putting one and a half teaspoons of alum in here. We used to make these as kids and oh my gosh, we just ate and ate and ate on these pickles. They were always so amazing. My mom also made the big crock of pickles and we kept those in our basement, but you know, that's just a little more work, a little harder. This is much easier. Okay, I have a clear brine, so I'm gonna add my vinegar in. My salt is all dissolved, so we're ready to go. Let me just put these few items away here. And I forgot to tell you guys about garlic. I just bought garlic um, 
already pre-made up, much easier. Um, so we're gonna use that. Excuse the rain, it has started to rain and that can be noisy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a few or a few pieces of garlic on the ground, on the bottom, not the ground. And then some of the dill. Then we're gonna put in some pickles, washed pickles. Put these in. Now you could have these cut if you like. I do not like them cut. I find that they aren't as crisp if they're cut. I like a crisp pickle. That's a big one. Okay, then I'm gonna put one more garlic in there and then I need a little one to fill that middle space. Okay, got that in. Now we're gonna layer some more dill. I don't want all those stems. I'm sure there's some flavor in them, but I'd rather have the hairy part. So we're gonna put in a lot of dill here in this layer. And then we're going to add more garlic. So I added, I think, four. I'm gonna add those five more. And now our next layer. Oh man, this is so pretty. This fits two layers perfectly. Save a little one for the middle. You gotta kinda shove it in there. And one more in the middle, let's see if it'll fit. Oh, there, you see how tight I got that? Okay, and then another layer of dill on top. That's it. That is it. OMG, this is going to be so good. And then we pour our mixture. Let's make sure um, it's still a little warm. So we're going to wait on that and we're going to go on to our okra. Now my okra has been sitting a bit, so it's, it's getting some oxidation, but that's all right. No biggie. And I wish I had better containers. Um, than this, some bigger containers. Oh, you know what I do? And looky there, it's matching. This is what I use for sourdough, but um, it'll do for this. My sourdough will have to find a new container. Okay, so let's... Oh, I forgot to put some garlic on the bottom and some dill. Now, if you don't want these real dilly, then you can leave the fresh dill out. I love pickled okra. It is so good. And for some reason, I buy it at Christmas time. More okra. more dill. Actually, more dill in the fridge. Let me get, all right, yeah, here's some more dill. Okay, some more dill. Rest of that okra. And some dill on top. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Okay. We are now ready to we are now ready to pour our mixture that is just above room temperature. It's definitely not hot. Ooh la la. I have a little brine left over, no biggie. Get that up to the top. Make sure all your goodies are in. Oh, we had a little juice squeezing over, and that's all right. OMG. 
if you have a sunny window and there you have it if you have a sunny windowsill these would be great just sitting in the window in the sun you can put them outside i think what i'm gonna do it's a cloudy day today so i'm just gonna have them in my windowsill for today and i'll put them out in the sun tomorrow and we will see what happens to these gorgeous creatures before i show you the outcome of the delicious pickles pickled pickles and okra i want to share this nasa launch with you i want you to experience what i experience on my beach i live two blocks from the beach and today is a nasa launch of a mars rover so let's watch this launch i'm 20 miles away which makes it um you know you see a fireball that's about it my husband's there he works out at the space center so i'm here at the beach gonna support and rah-rah him but before the launch i want to show you something that i saw that was super cool I'm going to show you this incredible turtle track here. You see that? That's a turtle track. And then he has to go up that hill there. And somehow, they, somehow he made it up. And he went way up there. She went way up there to lay her eggs. That's a good five foot that turtle climb maybe four and a half pretty cool and we have lift off into that wispy cloud. There we have the smoke plume behind us. And that, my friends, is a Space Coast launch. Okay, my pickles ended up only being out in the sun for about three quarters of a day. It's super hot in Florida, and I was afraid they were just gonna start fermenting instead of just pickling. So I put them in the fridge and let them sit for it's been eight days. Now you shouldn't have to let them sit that long, but I kind of forgot about them. So we're gonna try them and we're gonna see if they taste like pickles. Now let me get out one of each. Here are our delicacies. So let's try them. Crunch. Again, that alum is what helps you get that crunch. So, if you want them to be crunchy, then you should put the alum in. And then here are my pickled okra. Mmm, do you hear that crunch? Both are absolutely amazing. I wonder what the garlic tastes like. Let me get a piece here and let's try it. That might be tasty too. It's very good. It's actually not as strong as I thought it'd be, so that's all right. You could actually cook with that still, but wow. Oh, these are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below. That would be super cool. And give me a thumbs up or a comment. Mmm. Have some good pickles.